what it usually takes is just getting your nose down to get some forward airspeed, and that uh, changes the angle of attack. And oh. aircraft actually start producing sufficient lift. I gotcha. See, I start sinking like a rock, right? I, I can yeah, see what you're saying. Yeah, you can develop a sink right up to 6,000 feet per minute. Yeah, that's one of the literally a straight line brick coming out of the sky, you know. So yeah, that's one of the test questions. How, what's the sink rate? I, I, I remember yeah. that one. I had to look that one up. So we're getting a little tight here. Yeah, there's enough room that you can come on up to one. Well, I just yeah. Don't... Just unsure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I went down. Come on up. Yeah. I remember the first time you took me uh, when I came down here for the for the ride. You you were you were up here and uh -huh. we, were, we were in the, the 915. And we went over there by the uh, down the down the uh, the canal. We were flying down between the trees. Uh -huh. That was like the first time, you know, <laughs> a fixed swing guy. I'm like, holy cow! What are we doing? We're not supposed to get this low, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and climb on up a little bit if you want. We want the tree up there, kind of tight up. Okay. There's enough room to make it through there, but it's pretty tight. So. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Some tall trees too. And after one, go ahead and turn right. We're going to go out over this. Uh, uh, island down here in the river. Gotcha. Fly around it one time. We can push a little. Yeah, come on, turn right about 90 degrees now. Oh, you want to go that way? Yeah, okay. we're going to. We'll pick it up out here. Alright, go ahead and drop on down if you want. Come back to like 45 or something. Around the island? Uh, yeah, we'll just make a little run around the island here. Look at all the geese out there. Oh yeah, look at that. So now I find out if you're trying to make these tight turns, uh -huh. it helps you use a little runner. Uh, not really. Not really. It's yeah, just... you don't have to use any. You have to use a little back stick, you know, to keep from descending. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe that's what it a is. A lot of people will hit a little runner and cheat some, but you actually get out of uh, out of trim when you do. And, Start slipping. So oh, well, yeah, it starts. It's more drag, and it actually slows you down more. Okay. Well, I won't do that then. It just seems. It's you know maybe just get used to it. it. Seems awkward coming back off those tight turns. Yeah, there's a ball. Check out a bald eagle off the nose. There. What's that? Bald eagle right off the nose. See right there on the edge. Oh of the yeah. Water. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I'm looking to the sky. Look at that. Yeah. That's, they're beautiful birds. Yeah. All right, keep coming on around the left. We'll, okay. We'll kind of backtrack on this side of the. Hey, on this side. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up, back up to the north, and then go around the other side of the island. Now. Okay, I got you. Oh, there they went. Well, I was just sitting with my feet off the rudders, so I, I'll continue that now. Yeah, you can leave them on there, but you don't have to push them at all in the turn. Yeah. So we're right going to the right now. Go around the back side? Uh-huh. My wife absolutely loves it down here. She says it's so pretty. Uh -huh. It is really pretty. Yeah, it's kind of neat flying down the river. It is really, wildlife. It's really pretty down. Oh, even the farmlands and all the other places around. She just really likes it. I do too.
Have you been up today at all yet? Uh, nope. All right. Went home. Got a little sleep this morning. What, oh, you, did you work last night? Uh huh. There's a bunch of ducks there. Yeah, no kidding. Oh no, oh, geese. geese. I'm sorry. Geese, yeah. So now, is this really soft? Would it be hot, good to land on or not? Uh, yeah, you want to want to try to land on the sand. You're better off landing in the field over there. Yeah. There's uh, areas of the sandbars that are gravel. It's a darker brown. Yeah. I guess maybe one area right here that's to the left there. What's that now? If you look to the left, the darker areas, that's actually gravel. Oh, I got you. Right here, I'll show you. Check this area right here. Yeah. See that area right there is gravel. See how much darker it looks? Are you in the aircraft? I'm so if you get an area with, that's where the bar is mostly, where the sandbar is almost all gravel, you can actually land on that. We do it all the time to helicopters. But the right. sand you want to kind of avoid because it's really soft on anything that has wheels. And then uh, the helicopter will really avoid it so we're not sand blasting your rotor and your tail rotor. Oh, uh, gotcha. Uh-oh. We can look. We can land on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now go ahead and get you a little bit of a climb going. And then we're going to cross the river here. And right about here is where you hope the road tax doesn't go on vacation, you know? What's that? And right about here is where you hope the road tax doesn't go on vacation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My, uh, you know, we were talking about, uh... Never had a road tax quit on me yet. I shut, shut one down one time because I blew all the cooling out of the radiator and I didn't want to overcam the engine so I just shut it down landed in a wheat field but uh, yes, never had one actually quit on me. You know, down there by Lake of the Ozarks where we live, it's all wooded. There's uh -huh. not, I, I think there's, once you get up there, you'll see more farm yep. than you think. Where, which way are we headed? Oh, just kind of straight across here. Okay, keep going. I can't say that about Lycoming or Continental. I've had them quit on me before, but Rotax never let me down yet, so... Pretty dependable aircraft. Yeah, that's... Oil consumption is almost nothing. Oh, I see. So that was just a little, uh, bigger. Yeah, this is all beans into here. That he's got planted pretty late, too, because of the flooding. Yeah. Looks like they're actually going to get a crop out of here, too, so that's good. Yeah. A lot of times the flood gets it after they get it planted. Some of the guys tell me they make more money off of it when, the, when they actually lose the crop. Yeah, the crop insurance. Insurance pays for it, that's yeah. right. All right, now, come back on your power about 4,500. Go straight across. We're going to fly in that cut right there straight gotcha. ahead of you and go in behind that island over there. I got you. This is the island. Roger, and uh, the island actually is on the right, just to the right of the nose. That's a big island. Okay, so we're going to go to the right then? Yeah, what? it's going to turn left and then back to the right. Gotcha. Uh, we'll go for, uh, right now. This bar under here is mostly gravel, but 